So I want to go car camping and sleep in the back of my Ford Edge. So I have to figure out how to make a bed in the back of my car and have it be flat because my seats do not fold down flat. So here's the process that I took. So here's the back of my car and I took a piece of pine. I could have used plywood, but I didn't have any. So I'm using what I have on hand. So I took a piece of pine and I cut it down to four feet. And I figured it took two lengths of two by four because I needed three inches in height to get it as level as I want it. So it's not gonna be completely level. My head will be a little bit elevated. Then I copied some other people on YouTube and just got this thin piece of press board and attached it with some paracord. And that will keep my pillow from falling down through the cracks at night. I don't need it to be heavy. I don't need it to be solid. I just need something there. It's, my pillow will be roundabout somewhere in there, but it, there won't be a lot of pressure on it. And then that's just wrapped around the top of my headrest and I can pull that off when I don't need it. So now that I know I need a platform that's four feet long and I figured about two feet wide, I took the scrap lumber that I had laying around and cut four of them in four foot sections. Then I took another piece of scrap, which I'm going to screw. Well, I have the, I have these here as spacers because that's how far apart I need the um, pieces of wood to be so that I have a little bit of ventilation in between. And then I will screw this board down. And then I will take another piece of hardware or lumber somewhere in here, probably about, I don't know, maybe one in the middle, maybe one down here. And I'll use these two by two spacers to do that. And then when I get to the very end, I have two pieces of two by four that I will screw onto the end. And then those will be, that will be my riser. So that when I flip this over, it over it will be like that and it will fit in the back of my car hopefully and I'll have a pretty level spot for my um, camping mat and my foam mattress for sleeping in so hopefully that'll work I'll let you know how it goes and the reason I'm going to be sleeping in my car is because I can't take my a-liner to the hot springs at Brighton Bush because they only have car camping sites or tent camping sites and I don't want to sleep up in the woods in a tent by myself. So I'm going to sleep in my car where it'll be safe. And I ordered some mesh for the windows and some blackout, I don't know, reflector things for the front windows and the side windows. So um, it should be pretty comfortable in there, I think. It's still camping. Even though I'm not going to be in my trailer, it's still camping. All right, I got the first section screwed in. I just used one and a half inch wood screws. And I don't think they're going to go through to the other side. I hope not. I obviously love my rigid tools. Although I did start off with this project using my circular saw um, to cut these pine boards. But this little thing just wouldn't stay tight. And I had to tighten about every other cut. So I ended up changing to use my bigger chop saw over there. Definitely pays off to use the right tool for the job. And again, always use your safety goggles. I know I need a new pair. The elastic's about worn out of these, but they work so well. <laughs> so the one and a half inch screws were too long for the little boards that I used. So I used one and a quarter inch screws coming in from the other side, and then I'll flip this over and take out the one and a half inch, because those are gonna really probably pop my camping mat. My air mattress. And then on the bigger piece, the one and a half inch screws were just perfect. They did not come through the other side. So awesome. All right, keep on going. All right, I got all the braces on. Now I put the first layer of riser on this two by four with some two inch screws. And now I'm going to put the second layer on, screw that on to that and we'll see if it's gonna work. Yay! Well, that was a fun afternoon project. Here's my finished product. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm still able to 
put up the other back seat and get my floor mat back in to protect my interior. Um, I think this is gonna work. It looks pretty cool. Um, there's my two by fours and you can see, you got to see it get put together. It's solid. It's not, it's not going anywhere. It's in there. It's in there good. All right, I'm gonna go get my air mattress and check, try it out. <laughs> All right, there's the finished product. I just took an old black fleece blanket and wrapped it around the wooden platform so I don't have any slivers or stickers and blew up my camping mat. And I think I'm about ready to crawl in there and give it a try. I think I'm able to sleep pretty comfortable in this car. <laughs> well, I think this was a success. Um, not too shabby for just using some scrap lumber that I had around the house. And it didn't turn out very pretty, but I don't care about the cosmetics of it as long as it's functional and I can go camping. So I know there's other people out there that are camping in the back of small SUVs. And um, I looked at some of the videos to see how they were building their platforms and whatnot. Most of them used, um, well, plywood and stuff, but I didn't have any of that. So anyway, I hope this helped as an alternative for what you've seen out there. And I'll keep you posted on how it worked in the actual woods. Thanks for watching.